All right, we're here at UFC 300, and this is the actual production trucks that run the show. And we're gonna go talk to some people, find out what their jobs are. UFC 300, this is your director, Anthony Giordano. What's up? What does UFC 300 mean to you? I'm one of the only people probably have done 100, 200, and 300. So it's just uh, you know, the legacy of the sport, the production team, Everybody that's on this show, there's people that have been here since day one. Um, and, and it's just, I mean, what Dana's done, what the fighters done, can't take away anything. They, they killed it. But from a production standpoint, our team has been here, and it just shows that you work hard, treat people right, they work hard, make the show great for you. Describe your job as the director. I pick, uh, I'm like the orchestra leader with pictures. I pick every shot you see on TV, good or bad, I'm the one that chooses that shot. I try to tell the story through those pictures, try to let you feel the excitement that's in the arena um, and, and what the fighter's stories are. So the best I can do that is what I'm doing. And uh, what was your first event? UFC 28, I believe. It was at the uh, Trump Plaza. They'd let, uh, let the UFC hold an event there, and I thought, all right, this could be fun, but I had no idea it would be as big as it is now. How do you describe uh, the early days compared to now? Um, it's, it's, just, it's just way more sophisticated now, complicated and corporate and all that. And the fighters now, you have wrestlers that... Now you have guys who grew up when they were little taking MMA. So you've got this like new breed of young fighters who, they didn't take karate, they didn't, they took MMA from day one. And the, 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 the athleticism of these guys is incredible. Like five minute rounds. I mean, if anybody's ever done anything like that, think of one thing you've done. You wrestle, then you get up, oh, you're getting kicked, now you're getting boxed, now you get bring down, now guys do jiu-jitsu. I, I mean, it is incredible. So. I think the level of the athletes have changed, their skill levels have changed, and it's, uh, you know, looking around the Rousey. Unbeatable, unbelievable. And at some point, they flew right by her. Amanda Nunez, all these guys, they just flew right by her. So it's exciting, it's exciting. I just think, uh, and again, the production, as you get better and they make more money, they put more money in the production, I think the production has gotten much better. And we've gotten some great people, you know, that have continued legacies. You know, like our producers, they do a great job. The other directors do a great job. Our camera guys, there's camera guys who've been here since the uh, first show I ever did. So I, I think it just kind of keeps getting better. Have a good show. All right, what's your name? What, what's your position? Uh, my name is Michael LaPlante. I'm the supervising producer of my production. And what does that mean? That means I sit next to AG, the director, or you, the director. And I kind of play traffic cop during the show, determine the content, make sure the talent knows where we're going, what we're doing, what they're gonna see, what they wanna see. And uh, yeah, just keep the show flowing, keep everybody on the same page. What was your first UFC? Uh, my first UFC was UFC 169 in February of 2014. And 300, it's a big deal. Huge deal. What does Huge it mean deal. to you? Uh, it means that uh, I made the right life choice by working here. It means that my faith in the growth of this sport is vindicated. And uh, I don't know, it means I got a great job. I don't know what else. It's just a great night. It's a great night. It's a great event. It means a lot. And you can feel it. I've, I've never felt this kind of electricity all throughout the whole week, even from my office to the truck, to the arena, to the octagon. It's great. Wouldn't trade it. Good luck tonight. Appreciate it. Hello, Good world. Luck. I'm the technical director for the UFC. I push all of these remote control-like buttons that have all of the camera angles, one of them being the person taking this video right now. So when the director, who sits to my left in this empty chair, which will be filled with a whole bunch of people in this front row, comes in, will point to this monitor stack where we have 20, 40, 30, 60 different sources. So the director looks at all the camera angles and says, go to this camera, go to that camera. You've probably seen it in the movies where they say, ready one, go to one. 
our guy's gonna say, ready one, take one, stand by one, take one. And then I hit the button. And then I hit another button. And I probably do that a couple thousand times a night. So anytime the source changes, he's telling you what to change and you're the one that's pressing the buttons? I'm the one that's pressing the buttons. He's the one that's deciding what to put on the TV screen. And on top and of that, I'm layering the graphics of like the scoring data or some other visual elements. We have a tag board, which does social media tweets that come in. I layer that and then I'm layering in the replays. It's like a TV wipe that goes from one source to the other with an animation on top of it. So I'm pushing those buttons. I did not design those wipes. They just deliver to me and I execute them on top of the TV screen. How long have you been doing this? Uh, probably professionally 20 years, not professionally 25 years. And what does UFC 300 mean to you? Uh, I mean, it's a it's like our Super Bowl. We do a Super Bowl once a month as it is with pay-per-views, but you're, there's definitely a big nostalgic feeling around 300. I probably came into the mix somewhere in the mid-100s of pay-per-views as like a bench warming, moonlighting technical director. Um, but just seeing all the crew that's been around for 25 years, it's a big camaraderie, a big family. Um, Dana White's pumps. You can tell with all the press conferences that he's got more energy than he usually has. The fighters are pumped. The big uh, $300,000 bonus is going to be interesting because I'm sure people are going to fight a lot differently. What do you think? You think people are, are you going fight? for a bonus? No, I'm not going for a bonus. I'm just going to go for my regular old paycheck. Yeah. I just want a clean show. All right, this is Marin. He's our tape AD. Can you describe what that job is? My job is making sure that all the chaos that happens up front doesn't come back here. And we handle all of the tape elements, as you see here, and I handle all of the replays that you see on the air. And I try to corral all of these lovely people. UFC 300, what does it mean to you? I've been here too long. <laughs> Way too long. What was your first show? God, no. Sorry, I don't remember. I think 2006 sometime. It was an actual... Uh, what was that other organization we did? The Lightweights? WEC. WEC show. Hello, Mark. Hello, Jeff. Hey. I'm interviewing people because it's UFC 300. Oh, yeah. Can you tell me about your job? Uh, my job is to sit here and listen to the boss tell me what to do. Our job is to uh, match the exposure and color, basically, on all the cameras. So your department is called video, yeah? It is. And what are these uh, machines here? These are RCPs. It's a remote control panel for each camera where we can paint and uh, set the exposure. When you say paint, what does that mean? Uh, adjust the colors and the look, overall look of the camera. What is the most difficult part of your job? Uh, the most difficult part is is uh, keeping up with the change in lights and uh, matching the exposure. Very cool. And, uh, so yeah. up is brighter. Up is brighter. Down is darker. darker. Red is redder. The knob is bluer. And then there's about 30 other menu items to set uh, the detail and other aspects of the way the camera looks. And uh, does UFC 300 mean anything special for you? Uh, more work. Okay. Talk back. Uh, talk back is good. Lovely. Sam Rogan. Okay. So who are you and what's your job? Uh, I'm Peter. I mix the show and I buy dinner. When you say mix the show, what does that mean? Push things up and down. Yo, Rogan Rogan, myself, I'm using the music. Here. There's a guy the microphone. Gotcha. Hello, there. hello. Yep. Rogan Talkback. Uh, got that as DC on? No. Oh, okay, meet you there. Someone was keying them. Check, check, check. So everything audio comes from you. Kind of. All right, this is Kerm. Kerm, I'm interviewing people because it's UFC 300. Hey, how are what you? Does, uh, what is your job? I am the engineer in charge of this show. All of these pretty little patch cords and signify various signals that come in and out of the truck and I sort of build the nonsense. The infrastructure. The infrastructure. Tell me about your job. Uh, 
I'd put on any of the graphics that you see come on the screen that aren't anything cool in 3D. That's me. <laughs> that's me. Awesome. <laughs> and yeah, so me and Caprice, who's not in yet, I'll tell her the numbers to call up from you there. This very four leaf, very poor handwriting on here where I have all the numbers written down. Or we can use a laptop. She'll bring up a number. So for instance, I want to bring up a full screen for the fight card. It's going a little slow because we just turned the machine on, but there's 300. Then we'll fire it out to the screens. Tell me about your job. Chief Dog's Body. Do most things. Rig cameras, rig cables, operate cameras, give moral support to wimpy cameramen, play cake directors, make them all happy, as, as happy as I can. So you do the physical labor of bringing all the cameras, cables, everything into the venue outside the venue yes sir i oversee the installation of all fiber cables for video and cameras yes so uh ufc 300 is a big deal does it hold any extra weight in your mind we've added a few cameras um but it's pretty much uh, a standard show for us a pay-per-view show it's pretty much the same um, we've added a few cameras a fish eye some uh, spanish camera and uh, camera one i believe we've got a junior operator coming in for camera one I'm not quite sure who he is. I've not heard of him before. So Zarko, is that his name? <laughs> what year did you uh, start on UFC? Uh, I started my first UFC in 2006. It was in Manchester, England. I worked uh, for NEP London, doing UFCs in Europe and internationally. Moved to America 10 years ago. Continue to do uh, most of the North American shows and international shows. Some of our camera crew. What's up, guys? I'm interviewing people because it's UFC 300. Tell me about your jobs. What do you do? I try not to get fired every day. Hey, me too. Tyson runs the, uh, the, the chase camera, follow the camera. fighters out. So you get to walk out with all the fighters. I got some sun for my camera time today. Oh, look at you. What's up, Aaron? What's up, JJ? So what's your Happy job, man? Robo Delicious. Robo, which means you operate the camera directly over the octagon? Yes, the overhead Robo camera setup. And UFC 300, man, what does it mean? Does it mean anything extra to you? It should be a really fun time. Big pay-per-view, great energy, good fights, and a good night. Shane, UFC 300, man. Doing it, 40th show, let's go. So this is Dave Wolf. Dave, this is a quick little behind the scenes tour of what we do. Tell me what you do. I am a steady cam operator. I run a camera that floats. And during the UFC, that means what? Uh, during the UFC, it means I walk fighters out of this bomb over here. They come out onto the floor and walk through the crowd and make their way up to the octagon. Over there. What year was your first UFC? Nineteen ninety something, and uh, UFC three hundred today, man. It's a pretty big deal. It's a big one. Does it hold any extra weight in your mind? Just another number. Hello. 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 Give me one more. UFC 300, guys. What does it mean to you? 300 events. I've done 100, 200, 300. I'm still I, new, so this is my first like milestone. I have no life. I am the RF technician that does all the microphones and all the comps. I've been, been here moved. since 2005. And you said you do the booth. I what do does that booth. mean? Yeah, all these microphones right here for the commentators. So Rogan, Anik, and Cormier. Yep. And any microphone around the octagon as well is what I set up to. My job, official DJ of the UFC, the arena rocker, AL motherfucking three. How long you been here? 15 years. And how? what does UFC 300 mean to you? History, baby. Blessed to be here. I was at UFC 100, UFC 200, and UFC 300. I want to be bigger than this.
UFC 300. So, operate, just swing an arm out here. As he swings it around, I point the camera. And we get some really cool looking shots. All right, UFC 300. My first show was 2004, UFC 50. Technical director, I direct some now. But tonight, 300, running camera, baby.